This was her first visit to any military base as First Lady and part of Dr. Jill Biden's attempt to relaunch an effort to help military families. These type of visits can sometimes feel overly rehearsed, which is why when the First Lady asked journalists to listen up, can you hear her? it appeared unscripted. And speak with the family. Megan O'Day and Lieutenant Colonel Rebecca Christie were pouring their hearts out in the echoey Children's Museum at Joint Base lewis McCord about the continued needs for on-base care and family services, especially like the one at JBLM, which serves 120,000 people. We aren't just dealing with relocation and normal military family issues here. It's compounded with what the parent has the vision for their child's education and their right to care. They were unbelievably helpful as an educational advocate, um, especially with my oldest son with autism, with getting appropriate classroom placement. Biden's tour included a similar visit at NES Whidbey, part of her early platform as the daughter of a World War II veteran to do more for military families. And your commander in chief, that's the first time I ever said that. <laughs> and I will continue to lift up your experience and rally the support you deserve. It's an initiative she calls Joining Forces, started under the Obama administration to redirect philanthropic and private sector support for employment, education, and wellness programs. There were no big public promises today, and she took no questions from reporters. But behind closed doors, the First Lady met with several families and stressed that her work on this issue will continue. I want to just say thank you again and may God bless our troops. Thank you. Biden is wrapping up her West Coast swing with a visit to a Marine Corps base in Southern California tomorrow morning. For now, at Joint Base Lewis McCord, I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.